I've been hearing a lot about the Distant Horizons mod for Minecraft and I decided that I was going to make a tutorial on it for you guys on how to download and install this mod. Right now everything is loading behind me but this mod, trust me, after it loads and if you have a computer that can handle it, this mod is going to change your whole Minecraft gaming experience. Now before we continue, there's a couple things you have to keep in mind. Like for example, this mod is still in an alpha version, it's still not officially out, it's just a pre-release. So there's a lot of issues that will happen with this mod a lot of the times, a lot of other mods that will crash with it not every shader is compatible with it so yeah there's a lot of things that you have to keep in mind also i want to thank the development team of distant horizons for making this mod and lastly also you will need a mod loader for this mod to work so you will need either forge or fabric for this mod to work in your computer if you don't have forge or fabric don't worry because later on in this video i'm going to show you how to install one of those so you could get this mod working with all that said Let's get started. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to our reading guide on how to download and install the Distant Horizons mod. Feel free to read through this guide. And if you have any questions, you could probably answer it by looking at the screenshots and stopping here. However, if you just want to cut right into it and you want to get right into it, just scroll down and click where it says Distant Horizons. That will redirect you over here to the Distant Horizons page with a mod rinse. Now, before we go ahead and download this mod, I want to thank the development team of this mod for creating such a nice mod. Here are the people, the project members. There might be more people. If you want to go support them, just go ahead and join their Discord and go ahead and thank them for creating such a nice mod for the Minecraft community. Anyways, once you're over here in the website, you're going to look for the desired version. As of right now, the newest version available is 1.20. Point two, and as you can see here, it supports both Fabric and Forge. And like I said earlier, if you don't have one of those, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to install one of those in a second. Anyways, once you found the version that you want, of course, in the future, there will be newer versions. As of right now, we're going to download the most recent one, which is this one. Go ahead and click on the download little arrow in here, and I'll begin the download. Go ahead and wait for the download to finish. And then I want you to go ahead and drag and drop this file into your desktop, the Distant Horizon jar file, okay? This is a jar file. If you have watched my tutorials in the past, you know what a jar file is. Anyways, now that we have the Distant Horizons mod, we are ready to continue. At this point, if you already have Fabric or Forge, all you have to do is launch your Minecraft launcher, open the folder for the installation of Forge or Fabric, go to the mods folder, and add the Distant Horizons mod, as long as you know it matches your Forge or Fabric version. Just make sure it's the same version and then add the mod into the mods folder and that's it. You're done. You could go on with your day. I'm assuming, however, that a lot of you don't have a mod loader, neither Fabric or Forge, to load Distance Horizons. And that's why in this video, we're going to install Forge. If you want to install Forge, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge, of course. However, if you just want to get right into it, scroll down and click where it says download Forge here. That will redirect you to the Forge official website where you're going to find, and this is very important in here, you're going to find the matching version of Forge that matches your Distant Horizons mod. If you remember, we downloaded the 1.20.2, so you have to make sure you find 1.20.2 here within the Forge versions. Okay, of course, you could also install this mod for Fabric. The reason I'm not doing Fabric is because Fabric takes a little bit longer to install because you also have to download the Fabric API and stuff. So that's why I'm doing Forge, but feel free to do it with whatever you want. In this case, we're going to do it with Forge. Once you're here in the proper version of Forge, go ahead and click on the installer button right here. That redirects you over here where you have to wait five seconds. And after five seconds, you will see a skip button here on the top right. Go ahead and click on it and then the download for Forge, the installer will begin. Once you have the Forge file, just like we did with Distant Horizons, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You could probably find this file here in your recent download history, or if not, you could probably find it in your downloads folder using your file explorer. Let's go ahead and download or drag and drop this file into the desktop, sorry. And once you have Forge and Distant Horizons, um, we're almost done here. All you have to do now is make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed. As you can see, mine is completely closed, as well as your Minecraft game and then go ahead and install Forge, okay? In this case, it's 1.20.2, since it matches our Distant Horizons mod. Go ahead and double-click on the Forge installer, and then just wait a couple seconds for it to install. So you can see it says Install Client in there. Just go ahead and click OK. And like I said, just wait for this to install. And as usual, while Forge is installing, I have to remind you about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server where you could use any mod that you want, it could be a Java Bedrock server, a server that will allow you to install more than 200 mod packs with just one click. Well, Apex Hosting is here for you, offering you 25% off your first server, a completely online hosted server, so you don't have to expose your IP address and expose your computer hardware. And you know, your friends could join you, get the server set up in less than five minutes using the first link in the description. Let's keep going with the tutorial. As you can see, Forge has completely completely installed, successfully installed, go ahead and click on OK. And now you could even delete the Forge installer just by clicking on it and then pressing delete. 
and then you could also delete the installer log from your desktop. Now all we have left is the Distant Horizons mod. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher, wait for that to load because it's going to take a couple seconds. And if you install Forge properly, you will see Forge selected here automatically, as in my case, you see Forge is right here. All you have to do now is head over to installations and make sure modded is selected because if modded is not selected, you won't see Forge in here. So select modded, then you will see Forge in here and then click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button when you hover over Forge. I will open a folder with a lot of files in there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and easier for you guys to see. And then what you're going to do in here is look for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. There is a chance that you might not have the mods folder. I'm going to go ahead and delete mine just like that. So if you don't have the mods folder, go ahead and right click, click new and then click folder. And you could just type M O D S and create that mods folder yourself. Go ahead and enter that mods folder. And now just drag and drop the distant horizons mod into this folder, this empty folder that we just created, or maybe you already had it in there. Now I know some of you are going to ask, does distant horizons work with other mods? It does work with other mods, but not every mod is compatible with it. You have to keep in mind that distant horizons is still an alpha release. So there's still a lot of things that are going to happen with this mod. Yes, it does work with some mods. For example, I even tried it with Optifine and it did work with Optifine for me. But you know, there's some mods that might be incompatible. What I recommend is that you join their Discord server, which you can find in the download page. And then just, if you have any question, just ask in there, be polite, don't spam your question, just ask and they'll probably help you out. Anyways, once we added the Distant Horizons mod into the mods folder, go ahead and head back to your Minecraft launcher and launch your Forge instance. You could either launch it from your installation menu or from your main screen as long as you have Forge selected but I click on play and just wait for this to open by the way I know by this point somebody's going to say I had trouble installing Forge if you had any issues installing Forge you probably have an outdated version of Java that's most of the time that's what happens you don't have Java installed for example when I installed Windows 11 it didn't come with a Java instance so I'm gonna leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17 and also a guide on how to run a jar fix just read through those guides if you have issues installing Forge and trust me like 90% of the time, it will fix the issues. Anyways, now that we're inside the game, as you can see, everything loaded here. If we head over to mods, we see that Distant Horizons is in here. If you were to have any questions, again, head over to their homepage and you could join their Discord and stuff. And now let's go ahead and test this mod. You could just launch this into a single player world. And I was doing some reading on it and it's supposed to work on multiplayer servers as well because it is a client side mod, which I think is great that this is a client side mod. However, if you want to use it in a multiplayer server, you have to explore the chunks for it to load. If, if I'm not mistaken, that's what I read and that's the way it will work online and as you can see now we're loading into a minecraft world and the distant horizon mod is loading now obviously we have to give it some time especially because i'm recording right now so my computer is like whoa bro what are you doing to me like this is not the way this is not the way we handle things around but as you can see everything starts loading up in the distance you just gotta give it some time for the render to get better obviously you could also increase that render distance and the render quality if you press escape you head over to options and you click on this little button in here, you could actually access the settings in here and you could play around with the settings. I was already testing this out earlier off camera just to, I always test that mods before I install them and I do a tutorial on it. So once you're over here, you could head over to advanced option or you could actually play with things from here. But if you head over to advanced options, you will see you have a bunch of options in here and you could click on graphics, for example, play around with the render quality, the fog, a couple of things in here, advanced graphics options. So you could actually even play with the numbers in here. That is completely up to you and also up to what your computer could handle. So this is very important. This mod is not for everybody. Not every computer is going to be able to handle this mod. I mean, mine, it's struggling right now because I'm recording at the same time as I'm using this mod. As you can see, there's some areas that haven't even loaded yet, but it's definitely a great mod. And if I wasn't recording, it will actually look a little bit better because I tested it out earlier. And just like I was saying, if you give it some time, you will see that it will start getting better and it will start getting better and better and it will start loading more and more. And you just have to play around with the settings and stuff. But as you can see, it's getting better now. Anyways, that has been everything from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and comment. And as always, bye bye.